everyone, I'm Olivia, and here's a quick camera tip. Today, today, we're doing a thing that I know a lot of you aren't going to love, but it's so important. It's so important. I'm working on a big update for this product, my brand plus style guide. I will be showing it off next week um, with another uh, quick camera tip about it, but I'm going to be scrolling all the way here to uh, color. Color with the brand is so so important. Obviously, I need to completely update this. It's a little bit off, but I'm going to be adding a page to this document um, or really revamping this page with my text colors. Um, we're going to be doing accessibility testing, accessibility color testing. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. Um, this is a document that I will be, it is on sale right now, but I need to really update it. Um, accessibility testing. It's going to be a part of it, but this is an editable brand guide that you can do in Canva. What we're going to do is we're going to test all of our color combos, and I'm actually going to do it with my brand first. So I'm going to come in here and put this right here, and I'm going to duplicate this for all of my brand colors, and we're going to see what colors pass accessibility and which ones don't. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get this set up. I'm going to have my brand orange, my brand green, my brand bright blue, my pink, and then um, let's see. Oh, we're also going to do my whatever this neon color is that I use sometimes, the cream, and then this color. Um, I'm debating this orange, but I'm not really feeling it today. So this is what we're going to do. <sighs> What I have over here under door number two is a color contrast checker. I found this one this week and I'm so excited. I love coolers. I love them for color palettes in general. Um, coolers.co does a lot of really good color palette um, empowerment. You can do gradients, uh, save images and find a color palette from there. Um, their tools are really, really cool. Um, you can create a gradient, make a gradient palette. Um, like, look how cool that is. You can also um, just make a color palette. Uh, you can click Let's Go and hit the space bar to generate them. It's really cool. You can lock them. But today, we're using the contrast checker. What is, what's, what is contrast? What are we talking about? Contrast is the, uh, the light and dark values that allow your text to be readable on top of a color. So you can see here, they have it preset with this like navy blue that's on top of a light blue. It's getting a contrast score of 8.42, which is pretty good. And it's also ranking it if it's small text and if it's large text. You want very good. <laughs> you do not want one that is bad, right? So let's look at one that is bad. Let's actually bring this background to like right here. This has a 2.95 now. And you might go, ooh, that looks so dark and mysterious. But to somebody who has um, vision that's not the same as yours, hello, glasses, uh, color blindness, um, all sorts of other visual issues, this is not going to be readable. And why should you care? Well because you want your content to be accessible and honestly, because you run a business and you want everyone to be able to work on it. So I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to blend this plus Canva today. So I have my color palette set up over here. Here are all the colors I use. I have another little sub one that like sometimes I test colors in here to have fun. Um, and I'm going to be testing colors that go on top. So obviously white on orange is going to be approved, but Let's try it out anyway. So I'm going to click on my, make me smaller. Goodbye. I'm going to click on my brand orange and then I'm going to click um, up here to grab the hex code. So it's F04D37. Um, I also have these printed out. I print them so that they're on my, <laughs> my computer. You're going to see black on orange is poor. It's pretty bad. We don't want to use that. But what about white? What about one, two, three, four, five, six? That is white. It's still poor. So I really need to stop or don't put my text on top of orange. That's just that. End of story. No text on top of orange. End of story. I'm not gonna... No. If white or black don't work, then none of the other colors are going to work as well. But let's click click to fix. Adjust background color. It's giving me a darker orange. <laughs> so we don't want that. Um, 
We don't want that. Now this dark green, this one's gonna be perfect. I'm gonna come through here and grab my dark green. I put text on top of the dark green all the time. It gets a whopping 12.33. That is an amazing contrast. But what about the rest of my colors? What about my pink? Could I do pink on top of green and be, and be savvy? Text color. 8.29, so we're good to go. Oops, did not mean to do that. We're good to go with pink on top. So we're going to do pink is a good one. For fun, let's look at this, this blue because <laughs> it is not going to be correct. We're gonna put in this blue over here for text color. It gets a three, so absolutely not. We're not doing that. Um, text color on top of my blue let's just try it out let's use blue as the background color of course now it gets a one it's absolutely not but what about white on my blue not accessible a four it gets a two for large text so that means that when i'm doing a presentation or something pretty big that i would be able to do that and just for fun let's see what black is black actually does okay that doesn't make sense to my brain but the it, this is saying that it does so I might switch over to using black text on top of my blue, but most of the time I'm going to avoid that in general. On this light, like electric mint background that I have, ooh, a 20. Great contrast there. Um, so I know I'll always be able to use that. What about using like my blue on top of that? Let's see. Uh, 3.83, what about black? Oh yeah, black is the one that worked fine. What about my green, for example? This like dark foresty green that I use. Hex color, it's still good, still 11. So my recommendation to you guys is going to be to go through your color palette and make sure that you are aware of what colors can be used on top of what things. That is what this one is, um, this text colors. Uh, I have white text on this, black text on this, black text, black text, white text, white, black text. Um, and then I'm going to even add a second page that includes the link to this color contrast checker. And of course, check the link in these, this YouTube description. But Olivia, what do I do if I have to have it? I have to have it. I have to have orange and pink. It is my life. I love orange and pink. What do I do? If you have important information, like let's say you're trying to sell a service. You are trying to say designs for, um, or you're trying to sell phone cases, right? Like phone case sale. It's in your best interest to ensure that everyone can read that. If they can't read it, they're going to look away. They're not going to engage with it their best. If it's not important information, let's say it's a vibe. Let's say it's like I'm selling tiger phone cases, so the joke's going to be, lions, tigers, and bears, wait, just tigers. And it's more of like a tongue in cheek. It's like a funny, a funny situation. If it's for vibes and even this, it's not my favorite, but I, people lose their minds if they don't tell them anyway. If it's, if it's not for important information, you can pretend that your text is a graphic, pretend that this is a graphic, but you have to know that people cannot read this. You have to know that this is not accessible and people are going to have a hard time reading it. You're actually going to want this to be the most accessible as possible. So let me introduce you to this Instagram post that I did that I need to turn into like a blog, but how do I use my bright colors and still stay accessible? Well, like this. Use your bright colors, but then use simpler colors over here. Use a text square shape, add overlays on top of things, photo shoots, find a, a blank wall, add text boxes. So let's do that quickly together in Canva. So if this is my design and I'm like, oh my gosh, I just love the orange. We're going to hit the R to add a color block, right? And then I'm actually going to make this color block like my cream color. I have this like latte. I think I called it. Oh, that's cute. Latte foam. Yeah. <laughs> Lightning. Yeah, that's cool. Um, and now all of a sudden you can see, boom, now phone case sale is incredibly, incredibly readable. We love to see it. And I'm actually going to make this bigger so you can actually see what I'm doing. So now I've got phone case sale. I'm going to position this to be centered. Something is off center. I can tell. Great. Phone case sale. Amazing. So now this looks really, really specific. I'm going to duplicate this so that it has some cute graphics. I'm going to go over to my, oh, that's different. Oh, that's different. We've got a rebrand here. Um, I'm going to go over to my terrazzo. I'm going to add uh, this terrazzo pattern to the back. 
um, and send it all the way back. And now that other text is especially not readable, but what can you do? Um, great. So now you're seeing I'm using my bright, bold colors while still staying accessible with my actual typography. So I'm going to recommend that you all use the color contrast checker to check some of your contrast. If you're not in the green, then it is not accessible and you really need to consider doing something else over here. Um, this Canva style guide, I am refreshing. It will be available in my shop next week. And next week we're going to be going over mock-ups. How do I actually mock something up? Um, in terms of a document to then sell on a shop. So I'm really excited to do that one with you guys. Um, let me know if this changed your mind about colors and how your colors are going in the comments. Uh, enjoy doing the color contrast checking. Bye.